kind of MacGuffins, but it's still actually decent. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 16 of Supernatural Season 12, and we brought back Claire. Now, I was a bit hesitant about her being back because she had this one episode back in the last season with Jody and whatnot. It was a really funny episode, especially the dinner scene. That was funny. However, the girl who plays Claire, I don't know, I just, she's not that very solid of an actress. At least she wasn't in that last episode. At least to say, she has definitely improved. She doesn't have a lot of these kind of grunty mannerisms that just made her character just kind of unbearable. She is actually a well-rounded character this time, and we also got to hang out with the other, the British Men of Letters guy, the nerdy guy, or the, the talker, I'll call him, really. After the events of the raid episode a few episodes ago, all of his team is dead, and now he's like, well, you know what, I should probably try and figure out how to defend myself. This episode dealt with a werewolf who was who had bitten this girl, killed her brother, but bit this girl and left her to become a werewolf. They find out about her and through, again, talking like this silver tongue, the British Men of Letters guy is able to figure out that the girl has been bitten. However, he doesn't tell Dean and Sam and I believe that he did this because he wanted to prove himself to them as well as to himself that he could handle this issue. And in a sense, he does. She attacks him, she scratches him, but he's able to inject silver nitrate into her heart and kill her. The brothers give him shit about this because she was a girl. May I take you back to season two, Heart, where they found out that there is no way you can cure a werewolf bite. That episode was ringing in my ears the entire time, so when the brothers are giving him shoes, like, oh, you know, we could have given her a second chance, like, no, 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 no. You didn't do it for the girl that Sam loved. Why the fuck are you going to do it for a girl that you have no idea you just met? That was a little bit of a stupid part because they referenced the psychic that they met earlier on in the season that was part of that abusive family who they saved, let go, and then Mr. Fitch killed her later on in the episode. What was cool is because the British Men of Letters guy knows that, but the brothers still don't, and obviously that's going to be an issue that'll come up at the end of the season, most likely. The other thing, though, was this was almost a direct copy of the episode that Claire had in the last season, because the last one had a vampire that was trying to get other people to become vampires because he was all alone. This episode is a werewolf who's trying to get other people to be werewolves because he's all alone. Direct copy. Later on in the episode, though, Sam and her have a fight, and she runs off and she gets bit by the werewolf conveniently. Now, this was the part that I was wondering, what are they going to do? Are they going to MacGuffin? And they did. They just pulled this werewolf serum out of their ass in terms of a story-wise. They say, oh, it was in a book. Oh, we tested it on mice. Oh, only one mouse survived. Conveniently, it works for them. They kill the head werewolf. But the British British, the British Middle Letter guy pretty much kills the werewolf and he saves Claire, which was cool. It was cool to see that this guy is actually kind of more than just a talker. He's getting in on the action and he knows how to defend himself. And they built his character while also building Claire's in a sense of her relationship with Jody and the brothers. And so while the story itself was not the best because it just rang full of issues contending with heart and then this the MacGuffin ass cure out of nowhere, that was stupid. But I actually liked how the characters were developed in this episode. It's not a memorable one, but if anything, it actually made me go from not liking Claire to liking her and giving me more of a one-sided face of the British Metal Letters guy. So in the end, I'm going to give this episode a 5 out of 7. I was surprised. I thought it was going to be not that great, but I was thoroughly entertained. We now have... Is it 23 this season? If it's 23, then we've got 7 left. So... We still have to figure out what the overall arc of the season is, and they have to start setting up season 13. Now, I admit that it was kind of a half-assed bullshit move when they introduced the darkness in the last 30 seconds of season 10, but that worked out in the end. I don't think it's going to work out for them the same way for this one. They have to start setting up something. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys next time.